blog time people um, well last night I got I went to bed about 10 o'clock I got woke up about uh, what was it 10 12 40 20 to 1 in the morning left hand rod with the bottom baits on where I'm fishing with the boilers just in here just down here that went that I had a run it woke me up because I went to bed at 10 o'clock and then I, went, I jumped up put me crocs on and then went running towards um, the rod just as I got to the rod it stopped again so I stood there and stood there and stood there and nothing. Um, so I slacked, switched the alarm off, slacked that line back off again, switched the alarm back on. Um, but nothing, nothing else after that. Something definitely picked it up and then dropped it again. Um, so whether it was a carp or whether it was a bream, I don't know. Not sure but nothing on my rig across the other side I'll just show you nothing on my rig over over where are we over here on my bag rig nothing at all um, but this morning all round here all along here and out here, and here, and even as close in as here. It's just been constantly fizzing, 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 fizzing. I mean, I got up at five o'clock this morning, um, and since five o'clock this morning, it's been fizzing. Up until now, and it's about what? Uh, I would say it's about nine o'clock now, I would say. And it has been constantly fizzing. And then about an hour ago, an hour and a half ago, the carp jumped out just here, straight out of the water up here and towards my rod. About rod length out, a rod length in front of my rods. So I'm definitely on fish, definitely. Without a shadow of a doubt. Whether or not they're going to pick up, I don't know. But I'm going to stick to what I'm doing. Because at the end of the day, I have had a pick up and I know I'm in the right area now. I knew I was because of the fizzing I'd seen yesterday. So, I've got up this morning, I'd, I had a banana and a couple of cups of coffee. And then about an hour ago, I had some bacon. Three, six rations of bacon done in two pita breads, but like a twat, I've gone and forgot my tomato sauce. Unbelievable. All the years I've been fishing, I never forget nothing normally, and then I've gone and forgot my head torches and my tomato sauce. So what I did was on my bacon, on my bacon, I put Philadelphia. <laughs> it's nice, people. It was. But I think what I'm going to do today is my plan is just going to stick to what I'm doing. Stick to what I'm doing and just see what comes of it. I don't think I need to mess about doing anything else yet. So I'm just going to stick to the plan. Um, there's a lot of birds about. A lot of birds. In the margins, down the middles. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bait up um, same as I did yesterday but I should leave it till about 10 o'clock leave the rods in till about 10 and then I should take the rods out about 10 o'clock and put a bit of bait in check the rigs, put fresh baits on put a fresh bag on the other rod and then get them recast out but I'm going to leave the rods then, I think, unless I get a pickle. But the bag rod I might cast out again around about tea time, just before tea time, and then cast that out again before dark. But my other rod with the boilies on it, I'm only going to 
it being really shallow water there I don't want to disturb it too much so I'm just going to put a rig out there just put a rig out there morning and night obviously unless I get a fish so right I'm going to sign off for now get a cup of coffee and then get my bait prepared ready to bait up with get to get my rods out so I'll catch in a bit people, tight lines.